Hey guys, Indulger here back with some more Fire Emblem Heroes Ether Raids. Let's jump into this week's defense. If you watched last time, last week, we are making small, small adjustments here. Basically the same construction, but this is more of a serpentine dance trap with the triple knot Eldigan leaf combo. I'm not getting hone on leaf, so I'm running a B slot on my L, and we're going to look at some of the uh, results here. <laughs> this first one uh, cracks me up. I have been a while since this happened, and it's got... Okay, uh, let's talk a little bit more about what's going to be happening here. So this dance trap should be not uh, uh, not new for you guys. This is the first time I'm running Byleth, and I, I think I briefly showed there, uh, or I will show here in a second. I screwed up. Uh, one of the things we're going to talk about this week is the locking mechanism that has been introduced, which is just a godsend. Like, why did this take so long? It took, took two years to do this? But we finally have the ability to lock some teams, and I went against my own advice. I didn't lock my defense. And I'm showing you here, uh, there's, there's a lot of plus 10 units, and let's pause it. Oh, well, never mind. I wanted to show you that Byleth was going to just rock any beast that he encounters. And he's not like Freya's a particularly beefy girl, but still pretty impressive to get one shot like that. And here we go. So we'll look at, uh, take a look at uh, the defense uh, in a separate video, but here's just a sampling of some of the fights this week. I continue to be impressed uh, with the results of this triple knot team. It is her bonus week still, and she's been in her own right really offensive. You can see I'm wrapping things up. <laughs> Getting that uh, Sita in the corner, and that should do it. Oh, this is pretty cool. I like the end the end game here. Watch what Krom can do. Is two knots. Oh, two knots. Reposition. Bam. Gotta love it, guys. I, I'm having a lot of fun with this defense. It's uh. <laughs> it makes me happy. Let's take a look at the offensive side of things. Again, uh, consider the locking icon. If, this is, if you haven't been paying attention to the notes, you can lock all of your AR teams, all of your arena teams, all of your AA teams, all of your... Uh, any mode, really, including um, Pawns of Loki and things like that. Even, even Tempest Trial Team 2s. And I'm noting that with the locking mechanism, this really gives a buff to offenses here. You can see that I, I can run different forms of Caden or Air or the bonus unit. So this is really powerful in constructing teams. I'm going to try to call this out every week uh, as I go from here because it's no longer just set it and forget it. You can actually make very um, interesting tweaks per team. And I call that a few different things, a little different examples there. I can run different tactics on my teams, depending on the team construction. Obviously, you can't run tactics if the you have, like, three infantries, for example. Like, this is a team that has three infantry, so I'm not running tactics. So that's pretty cool. Thanks, IS. Definitely, we pendulum swung more on the offensive side with this update. Um, so that's pretty, it's pretty nice to see. Let's take a look at fight one. It's an Adel showing with a pretty good S slot. Not a good location because she's going to get hit by that bolt tower. And then from there, there's no dancer other than the Azura. And this is going to be a slam dunk Ike. And I'm going to skip most of this. But as soon as I see that the Adel is vulnerable to the bolt tower, it's over and done with. I can Ike this. Ike's generally not a really good counter to Adel if I have to fight her at full strength. But with the bolt tower, there's really no chance here. Let's break, at, let's break down what we see. All right, first off, again, the healing tower is the thing that needs to go, but guys, keep doing it. Corner units, two, this is a, a double corner unit. Double corner units is just generally the worst possible thing you can do because it just leaves four units to, to fight with, and this is not a seventh slot team, so don't do this. Like I've said a billion times, I'm just going to quickly uh, set this up. Ike goes in there. We're going to... If I have Lucina in range, I could smite, or I could shove up there. I don't know why I didn't do that. I, I think it's because I didn't want to clog the lane, but it doesn't really matter. I, this, this, this isn't really in doubt. I'm going to show you how these four units just fall really quickly, and then we're going to cut to the end, because I've already sort of highlighted the fact that the Adel is vulnerable to that bolt tower, and anybody can kill her. So she's gone. In the interest of time, let's just skip uh, some of the stuff we've seen a billion times and move on to some more interesting fight. So that's fight one on pace. Again, my defense is looking pretty strong, so I have another chance to get a top 1,000 this week, as long as I don't screw up the offensive end. And fight two is pretty difficult. So this is tomato five versus seven. I don't know what that means. It seems to be implying, like, you need to run five units here, or I don't, I don't know. But yeah, yet again, okay, here's, 
see if you can guess where I, I mis miscalculated. There's no restore on this Veronica. It's a flash, odd recovery. I briefly went through some things that I probably should have looked a little closer. And again, guys, I keep forgetting Katria. And not only does she give doubles to people, but she essentially gives uh, Omni orders to people people they can just fly around and I, I just i'm not seeing that there's a rally here i see the rally the seventh slot is the catria so i feel like this should be a dance rally and then i don't see how finna gets involved i i'm i'm calling out the fact that i i, I believe that that uh, it should be a dance a rally and then from there i i should be fine so there's a gamble on this trap i i feel like i have to go for it and if i fail i can get out of it because i don't think the rain should be involved here However, you're going to see what plays out here shortly. Uh, this is going to be tough. I really don't have an answer for this. Ways you can beat this are far save, near save teams, and I just don't have one. I have not built one on offense yet, at least in light season. I have blessed my Henriette on Astra, but I, I don't have an answer for this. So, you know, IS's solution to something like this, like this is the meta. This Catria jump first turn team. I thought I was in good position. We'll see what I missed here shortly. But I gambled on the trap. It wasn't the trap. I'm hiding. I've got Caden to help. He's not getting panicked. I mean, I think I'm, good. I'm in good shape. I, I, I just don't see how this trap is going to play out. And yet again, <laughs> it's going to be ground orders. Let's see. So, yeah, as I expect, suspected, it should be a dance here and then a rally on the new range. And then, uh I didn't see that she would jump, and then I got doubled by the freaking leaf. Oh. Was it close? I don't know. But, I mean, I was in perfect position there. I just really needed that that, that second dancer not to dance, and she did. And that's how I lost. So, guys, I don't have an answer for this. I don't. Again, you can tell me in the comments below how you're dealing with, with this. I, I believe, you know, m most folks are dealing with the far, uh, the, the far save, near save, uh, near save uh, offense, but nope, I don't have an answer. I don't. I mean, you can also probably gale force that, maybe. But that's, uh, that's a pretty good team, and I don't, I don't feel too bad losing to that. So let's take a look at what we have next. We got six ladders now. IS has also this this update given us a sixth ladder. So <laughs> that's a pretty lazy way of fixing things. But what are you going to do? We got a byleth here with with wind sweep, a bar tray. Everybody's these are very common units. So, and then I look at this again, I'm like, okay, so this is a one, two, three, it's just a three, one, two, three mythic team with a Zephyl, a boss Zephyl at 80 HP with a lot of distant guard. I'm not going to be attacking him. So I believe I can do it. I'm just looking at his slots. He doesn't have any way to stopping, there's no guard effect or anything on him. So this should be an Ike Plonk. Look at all this panic here. This bartrider has got panic. I'm just taking a look at the HP to make sure I can deal with the panics. I should be okay. Uh, because the the way panic ploy works, it has to be one HP above, and I am just on the dot there, 78 HP against this bar tray. So I feel pretty comfortable making this move. It's going to be the same thing I do pretty much every time with my Ike. There's a gravity trap there that's not going to be problematic. There's no lunge. So I'm in my perfect uh, vertical... Well, that's not perfect. I actually prefer to have Peony where Lucina is standing and Lucy uh, above the face statue. But this is the best I can do with a pinch. We're going to open this up because it really doesn't matter that, that Zephyl's not going anywhere. There is just the one dancer, which I have baited basically by having Ike in range. So let's see how this pans out. It actually did a lot better than I thought it would. I, they, these are really beefy things. Let's start off with the blue boy here. Couldn't couldn't crack him. I think he was running guard, right? And then Bartry doesn't die. Look at that. One HP comes down to Byleth now, and she doesn't die. What is this? <laughs> so the dancer now doesn't have a choice but to do because uh, she can do five damage. She attacks me, and now we've got this big junk here. I have to look at the. I'm pretty sure I look at uh, Lucas here. What what's going on? Seventy two defense. What the heck is this? What bigness too. Really gross. Uh, I feel like I gotta get rid of him now because if I don't, I don't want to get hit by an Ignis and I got Ether Charge, so bye bye, boy. And then uh, this is kind of gross because the healing tower is in range of the Byleth. I mean, as soon as I, I um, here's what I do, guys. When I decide if I want to use Ike, and I'm, this, is, this is the configuration I want, just like that. So it's perfect. Thanks, Trap. Uh, thanks, uh, Tactics Room, for being in the way. You always screw me up, but not this time. 
I'm in perfect defensive posture. Uh, if there's no hardy bearing, I'm just going to run Ike pretty much every time. If you don't run hardy bearing on me, this is what's going to happen. And even with these reds that you have, it's just the one red who's not really doing that much damage, but she won't die because she's got no follow-up built in. So I'm not outspeeding her. It's a little bit depressing because I do. This is my speed team. Uh, but yeah, I can at least quick repost the hell and she's gone. And it's going to be this Zephiel that, that's the most interesting man in the world here. Uh, I don't want to engage him yet because that healing tower is not gone. As soon as that healing tower is off the field, we'll call this a day. So I, I need to think about how I want to play this. How I want to play this. Uh, I don't think I actually make a good decision here. There's really no point to attack her right now. But I'm going to do it. And I don't really know why. I mean, no. does attack smoke smoke the actual user too? I forget. So let's take a look at what happens here. I I'm just showing you... Uh, she has no chance of surviving. I really should just end turn here. There there's no point to proceed. I don't know why I had to think about this for so long. It puts me in ether range. And now i got to figure out what to do with these, these bottom green units. But at this point, you're just going to be helpful to get the, the ether here. Okay. Let's let this play out. Again, she's going to hit me with this special that I'm going to get back with Aether, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, do I know? Oh, I don't know what the, the Lightning Bolt trap is. I'm going to test it. If it's the trap, it's okay. I mean, I'll damage him. I'll get myself healed. So I know I know what the trap is. That's in my back pocket. And let's see if we have, uh, with the turns remaining, we can deal with this boss unit. <laughs> So it's just one ether remaining. Leave it to me. I gotta go now. I, I definitely don't believe I'm gonna one-shot him. So let's just put Ike in range. There's no way he can be healed yet. We're gonna get rid of that healing tower here in just a second. And it's been a while since I've uncovered a, a wall here, but as I'm highlighting with the Moonbow, it's just not good enough. Homeboy's gotta have to run in bigness or you know something else. It's just not enough to, to do enough damage. So I, I one of the things I would tell the person running this team, if I, if I could, I, I don't think Moonbow's the right answer here. Because if you want to prolong me in an engagement, it's fine. But I mean, maybe a miracle or some other defensive defensive skill. Because it's just like kind of no man's land here. Your, your defensive posture, but then you gotta have. I, I really think Ignis is probably the best thing you can do. And Dagger's gonna snipe the kill from the corner there. I wanted to see if that worked, and it did. Give her some SP, and let's move on. So, not too much in doubt there. I like the team. It was fun. It was definitely more interesting than most teams we see with an Ike Blanc. So, happy to see it. Do a quick peek on the defense. Uh, this is day three, I believe, and it's still perfect. Did get a loss though. It's actually a very interesting loss, and we'll try to show that as part of another video. All right, we got Bram here. I'm highlighting the fact that Death Blow is here, and this looks like another Ike Blanc. Because again, let's look for Hardy Bearing. Guys, even with the new changes, uh, and we're gonna see one Byleth fight here this week with Ike. Who doesn't really match up? I mean, I was really concerned that Byleth would be destroying my Ike, and I eh, didn't really see that in my test so far. It just feels like everybody is now just discounting Ike. I don't see a lot of Ike counters anymore. Everybody everybody seems to be trying to protect against Linz and uh, Adels <laughs> and Hectors. But, like, you guys got to run Hardy Bearing or some way, some strong red. So if this isn't it, that's not going to be it. So we're just going to creep up here. Again, in these positions where you're just giving me, being able to walk up, you've got to put a, a bolt trap there or some sort in this case they've walled off the entire left side just nope not not good not not good map construction it's just not any tank whether it be ike or somebody else should be able to deal with this even though it's a plus that was a plus 10 vector was it not it's a bit curious again if this uh if if this bram had hardy bearing i'd have to think about it but i'm just going to ether blast him it was on the nose. It's not good enough. From here, I should be able to sneak up and hit that Ophelia. Good morning. Leave it to me. I have to test the trap. Oh, yo, no, no. That was just a not play. <laughs> that was fun. 
Uh, and then they got this Trander just stuck there with Wings of Mercy. I mean, one of Hector's bad matchups is Ike. Like, he's not going to win that matchup, especially if he's going to hit me. Ether doesn't look bad. Yeah, so you made that play there because don't really care. I, I, I'm going to make that on, on purpose. Again, I'm just clearing it so I can have it off the field. I'm not getting Lucy or anybody's help here. And that kind of sucks, but whatever. We got rid of the Dancer. It's down just to the Dancer and Hector. Dancing with Hector. I have to make a decision. Do I want to take the Healing Tower out? Not really, because then that puts me in a position of Danger Zone... I gotta just do this. Get rid of the dancer. Yeah, Hector's gonna be healed. But it's not like he's got his special ready to go. Let's take a look and see if we can fell him. Nope. Again, he's just not gonna get that special off. That ether is not gonna proc. Because Hector is good on enemy phase. Not... Why did I do... Oh, I wanted to make sure the healing tower... I don't think it really mattered. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. All right, there we go. All right. Loading, loading, loading. Let's go do another one. On pretty good pace. Rank 1700 entering day four. I mean, it's really cool. I don't actually have to look at to make sure that I have all my slots on my offensive team. I feel like every day I have to spend like a minute or two looking at that. Got a peony here with cantrip. I always read that as catnip. Not Ophelia. I don't see much. There's an Adel by. Well, yeah. Feels like, again, I'm highlighting that. If I can get there, I think, I feel like I've won. Adel, Adel without some sort of assistance from a bolt tower is a pain in the butt to deal with. But I went through this too fast, guys. I'm just telling you right off the bat. I went through this too fast. I didn't look at some very particular skills here. And I'm going to get boned because of it. I felt like. If I could do this, get ready to go, and then eventually get on that 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 defensive panel on the next turn, I'd be good in shape. But uh, what are the things that get me, guys? It's ground orders, and when I don't read, restore traps. So here's what it was. Seven slot, restore trap. I just didn't see that, and unfortunately, God, painting the back line. Peeing in the back line, that's just lazy. That's just lazy, I'm not paying attention. I didn't get the quick repose because I wasn't in range, and yikes. I think that's going to be, uh, yeah, that's definitely going to be ladder number two. But anyway, as I flounder here in, in vain, uh, <laughs> I, I do very much appreciate the fact that you know, we can lock our offensive teams. I don't have to think about it anymore. I don't have to waste minutes every day. Uh, scanning, make sure I didn't make any mistakes. So, thanks, IS. Finally, a quality of life update that's not behind a paywall. We can all get behind that, right? Leal's up next with Hardy Baring. Finally, somebody running Bram in a position that scares me. So that's going to force me to actually use a different team for the first time all week. You see that that uh, Leaf didn't have an S slot. There's a Python here with a candle wax bow and guard. There's a knot here, so the position of the knot is going to let that. That Cav hit me in a position I really don't want. But because this Leaf doesn't have anything, I feel like the weak point is this right side. If I can clog the right side, which I can do, they've given me a gravity trap to play with. I just need somebody to be able to deal with the Leaf. He's already being debuffed by Tamari. So if I can have one unit to deal with him, and I believe, guys, I believe there's a critical mistake I make here. Let's see if we can figure it out. Oh, just look at that. Just note the fact. Just note the fact that our girl Freya, who's her bonus week, didn't transform. If I change Caden and Freya, I think some things that happen here are going to turn out differently. But I do win with Adel because I do like her matchups in this cab line. And I'm going to use Peony to move Caden out of the way. And now I can hide in the corner. And this is great. This, this is a perfect position. Everything's perfect here. However, he didn't die. And you didn't die. 
And if I would have had the transform attack damage, that Wings of Mercy jump wouldn't have happened. And oh, what a bummer, dude. Oh, what a bummer. Guys, I seriously lost that matchup because I didn't transform my Freya. Yes. That is, I, so I'm going to see if I can salvage this. It looks salvageable here. You know, Caden can get the leaf kill. Uh, Micaiah has armor effective damage. I, I gotta be to pay attention to this knot too, who, who's now gonna open up some things for Yoon. You can see I'm being debuffed, so if I if I attack the leaf, I could do that. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna avoid this Micaiah. There's no dancer left. I can bait the Yoon. I'll have Caden involved. This seems like the best play to make. I could have I could have also hit the the calf with Adel and then use my Gale Force over to destroy the Micaiah, but eh. I could still hidey hole in the left corner, which again, MVP of the week for me is this left corner. I use it all the time. I do feel like it's the it's the best open slot in the game, either column one or uh, six. So you can bait the Yoon out, and now it's down to these two. I should be able to hit and run now with my Adel. There is, let's take a look at uh, not, as long as not doesn't have like odd tempest or something, I should be okay. Yes. Don't break that, that would have been dumb. <laughs> and even if she does, she's still out of range. And now I just have to make sure that this not doesn't get cute when the bottom, she's chasing me, but I, I should be able to run away from her. There's a healing tower there. I have lots of greens. There's three greens on the team. I should be able to, no matter who she engages with, I should be able to survive. Ah, uh, I didn't get, I didn't get the, what you would call it. So I got to wait another turn. Armored stride. That's what I was looking for. So she should be chasing the. She should be chasing. There we go. No, didn't get it. I'm too short. So can I get yes. attack boost with Caden? Yes. However, I think I have to wait again because I didn't get a chance to play with the Caden. No, no, no. We're gonna have to have to wait one more turn. If I could get Caden involved. Oh, oh, never mind. No, I don't. I just. I'm not gonna die. I'll just finish it off with air. There you go. Smart. Thanks, Leo. Day five, here we go. This is gonna be fight of the week, guys. Fight of the week. <laughs> this is this is a really tough one, and uh, so make sure that we don't have restore trap on here. So there's an odd recovery. Anytime you see an odd recovery, Veronica, you know you're in for a bad time. Basically, Knots here with this is our first engagement with Sita, who's running Flow Refresh, a new skill, and uh, Dolphin Dive Axe, which makes her very similar to her other version where she is effective against everything. We got a pass. A Siggy here with Quick and Pulse, of course. Byleth, first engagement with Byleth as well. Oh, this looks gross. And there's a Rally Trap. So there's a Rally Trap, seven slot unit. So what this should do, this should be, I don't actually see the dance. There's no dance here. So I feel like I could actually avoid this on turn one if I wanted to. I, am I missing something? So what I'm doing actually, the, the weak point that I found was on this right side, taking advantage of the dancer. Because there is no dance, there's no there's no knot. This is a double knot team. There's no knot on the right side that Veronica can't hit me. The Byleth can't hit me. So I'm taking advantage of getting rid of the only dancer on the field with air. It becomes a matter of can I outspeed her. I'm not running my uh, normal uh, preferred weapon. I'm running Tamari, which normally isn't an offensive posture, but if I can get rid of this dancer, I feel like I got a fighting chance. So let's try it. So there was the rally up. The dancer did die, but now this is what I have to deal with, and I don't agree with that drawback that just happened. Keep in mind that there was a drawback with that buy lift. If that didn't occur, whew, I think I'm like, I have no shot, but it's not looking good for me here either. I can't get rid of Siggy on the left with my green units. This looks super gross. 
It feels like the only play I really have here is with Dagger to get rid of the Veronica. There is no other move, so I have to start with that and go from there. By doing this, what that will open up is uh, some jumping uh, from with with the Omni orders that Peony provides. Again, Peony is one of the best units in the game, guys. She's just so useful. You can see here, I'm only doing four damage to Siggy, but I need to I need to debuff him to the point where this Ike or Freyak might be able to touch him. He's just so hard to take down, especially with my primarily green lineups. I actually don't. I'm surprised I don't see him as much. So there we go. I'm doing a lot more damage now, and he's been debuffed. Can I kill him? Can I kill him? Can I kill him? Can I kill him? Yes, I can! Okay, Dagger's got it. Dagger, Dagger's got it. Oh, baby, she's got it. That's going to open, potentially, things up. I, if I attack there, I'm completely screwed by these Byleths. And again, remember remember where Sita, Sita got drew back by the Byleth? If that didn't happen... If I draw... Okay, so I'm drawing back there. And finishing him with Ike. Who saw that one coming? I barely did. <laughs> and shove out the way. Get out the way, girl! I need to work. So, with the knots in the back line, uh, now, now this becomes pretty sketch for them, especially after they got blowed up. I have a dancer. I got the greens in position. I mean, I feel like this team had it. Like, it, it, they got a little too cute, though. I don't understand why they had their dancer exposed. I don't understand why the knots were configured like they were. Don't overthink this, guys. As someone who's running a knot team... Just, just put them in the front line and, and let them do their thing so other people in the back line can get you. Now, here's something to look at. Okay, look at look at what we have. And this is this is, this is, this is something I, I, I was thinking. There's just no way I can get both pots now. There's just not. There's no way. Um, is that dagger in a position to draw back the Ike? No matter what I do here, I, I, I guess... I could shove the peony to the left and then maybe reposition the Ike after a drawback. So yeah, that, that may have done it, but what I'm trying to do is just head a hedge and get one pot. You can see that the bolt towers, oh, sorry, the bolt traps in the way for me to get the second one. The only way I'm getting that second pot is basically to have air in a position where she's two bases left of Ike. If I can put her there, I can get it with a shove from Lucina. And so this is what, this is my plan. Uh, making sure that Dagger can avoid being killed by her sister. Everything looks good. Everything looks good. But, you know, one of the things I didn't remember... Uh, and there's a rally here. There's a rally on the knot in the back line. And, but but uh, two things. I didn't think she was in range. Uh, but she is because there's not. Of course she is. There's not. I'm just stupid. Um, Air's in the position I want her to be in. This all looks good, right? Everything is awesome. Everything. Oh wait, crap. Uh, no, that, that you. No, you're supposed to. No, you, you were supposed to rally. That was stupid. I had a chance to get one of those pots with air, and I should have taken that. So now, now I'm in danger zone. I can't lose any pots, and that's going to force a, a another fight for the end of the week. So yikes. I, I, I gotta be very careful not to screw up. But guys, I was. Really, I'm so happy I beat that team. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Clear. Uh, and this looks at its surface pretty basic, right? I mean, this is another corner unit team. Nobody's running S slots. It's completely lazy, especially since we have lock, ability to lock teams now. I mean, we've always had the ability to lock defensive teams, but this seems like a slam dunk, but this is going to be a lot more complicated than we think. So I'm probing. I'm trying to figure out. Obviously, this seems like a plonk. There is no, there, there is no hardy bearing on Bram once again. There aren't a lot of Ike counters, honestly. It's it's Duo Leaf, and even then, he can deal with Duo Leaf if you can bait him out. Is, is that it? And then Hardy Berry Brams, or Hardy Berry Red, Strong Reds. Again, thanks, guys, for being so scared of all the other threats that you've completely forgotten about Ike. You know, Ike's still here. Ike's still very good. <laughs> I, I just, I'm just continually shocked that nobody gives a crap about Ike anymore. I mean, uh... Yeah, well, I'm gonna keep running this until it, it, it it's it's exhausted. So that we baited at the Bram. 
Dimitri's not going to get doubled. Was I out of quick repost range there? And here's the scary thing, guys. It's a plus 10 Adel over there. It's a plus 10 Adel. Uh, Not's got Gale Force, and that concerned me a bit. Because if she doesn't die to Ike, which she should. She doesn't have no follow-up built in. If she had no follow-up, I think Not would be freaking terrifying. But she does not. And I don't really want to beat this Yoon, because if I beat the Yoon, well... And thankfully I didn't. I do not want her to die, because if that will transform Adel, and that's no bueno. But one of the things I didn't account for, and I just willy-nilly make this to play, is it seems pretty easy to me. I have my vertical configuration with Peony again. This is going to be another one of those, welcome to AR, where Yoon doesn't matter. But if you, you see it, guys, Yoon, Yoon's actually has threat range on Lucina. I did not mean to, for that to happen. I did not mean for Yoon to have threat range on Lucina, and I still don't see it. I don't see it. I'm just more worried about Tactics Room, because Tactics Room is just a pain in my yes. butt. <laughs> yes. Let's see. Let's bring it. Bring on now. Come on down, Yoon. You didn't actually... You, you don't actually matter. You just didn't do anything. Now here's the matchup I'm worried about with Adel. She doesn't get... She got Gale Force off, but she didn't get... Uh, her other second Gale Force off, so she's not going to attack me again. If she did, actually, I might have preferred it. Uh, she, but I have to get rid of her now. And this is going to be... She was outside of the... Oh, look at that. No! Come on! I'm debuffed. I'm actually panicked. Am I panicked there? I don't know what, what blew me away, but this sucks. Come on, dude. I'm not losing to this team. So the way I'm dealing with that is I'm just going to smoke her out, then deal with her... See, I, I have to do it there because I'm getting Lucina and Peony support. And then use Peony jumps to get to the Dimitri. Don't, no, don't do that. What are you, stupid? Dance first. <laughs> God, that was almost a disaster. Uh, get rid of Dimitri and then the Yoon. And then this is pretty much home. Oh, we're pretty much home free now. I've got plenty of time. Why are you guys doing these corny units? I mean, this is this is like you, you're working with like a great basis. You have plus ten Adels. Like, why do you guys overcomplicate this crap? Just put them in front and let them do their job. Like, why? We're gonna get rid of the, the dancer, and then Ike's gonna come up with his with his ether already ready in progress. Smite up there. We're gonna get rid of both of those. The the healing tower and the panic manor. You give me a huge wall to hide air, and that will wrap it up for the first six days. Stay tuned for part two here coming up uh, tomorrow. And if you have any comments for me, let me know, guys. Love hanging out with you. Love playing AR. May it continue for as long as it can. Thanks for watching. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.